Okay, I'm gonna hit this concept stack wise versus chassis. And these days you hear these things a lot, like go to that chassis number, this one, and do this configuration, go to that chassis, uh, and somebody is talking about the stack wise. I have stack wise, which is in my home, or I have a lab configured uh, using stack wise. So what is the difference? So it is also, although it is not included in your uh, test out uh, uh, slides, but uh, I'm just giving you information because this is very important. You must have an idea because in future you are going to be a network engineer and in our organization, uh, these are the technical vocabularies they will be using a lot. So you must have a very good understanding about these things. Yeah, or you'll be like me, one day you will get a call and they say, hey, do you, do you have stackwise on that floor? And you have no clue what to answer this engineer. Mm -hmm. Then he say, oh, is there two switches on top of each other? They, oh yeah, yeah, these two switches are on top yeah. of each other. Mm -hmm. so, so that's what I mean by that. Um, and it, it, trust me, it's like it's just hard to see it. companies these days if you're working in the buildings not have that unless they have a very small floors. It makes sense if it's like few ports they need. Then it makes sense to have one switch. But you know, you know that if it's a big floor, they may have a lot of uh, you know switches. Uh, but they would need a lot of ports like that. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this is how stackwise looks like. We have let's say the one, two, three, four switches. And these are totally separate, separate switches. You, you can just, you know, separate these switches. It is not like uh, connected with each other physically, by the way. These things are called stack-wise cables. This is how, uh, I mean, this, this is not like RJ45 or uh, fiber optic kind of thing. No, this is uh, dedicated for these stack-wise switches. So these are stack-wise cables. Okay. As you can see, uh, this switch is a little bit different than these. That's why this is called as master. And then these are the slaves. Why we are calling it master? Because it has the memory, power, everything. And you are wise enough. If the master is down, then what is going to happen? Everything will going to collapse. So let's talk about stack wise. Build your own chassis base wise. So this is the chassis, and they are saying you can build something like that in your uh, LAN environment or a small to medium enterprise organization. These kind of things you can create just like this. Combining switches physically as well as logically. So we are combining these switches physically. As you can see, physically, we are connecting uh, from this switch to this switch, and this second switch to the third switch, and then third switch to the fourth one. And this fourth one is going back to the first one. So this is how these are going to interconnect with each other. And they will share the information. And this is how they're gonna have one brain. They are going to have one brain inside it. Which will be handled by the master. If the master is down, you know the brain is down, everything will be tear into part. Then it has the concept of RPC. As you can see, we have redundant power supplies here. But again, if this one is down, then these are working. So this is the best part in RPC. And if you can know, you can understand if the, uh, the power supply for the master is down, then these can work, but as a standalone. But they don't have brain. And what is brain and these things we are going to talk about a lot in detail when we'll hit the uh, switches, uh, the memory concepts and these all things. So if we talk about and uh, okay, before I move to the chassis, this is the how modules will be look like. These are just like fast Ethernet 
if you are familiar, fast Ethernet 0 slash 1. So if I want to access this switch, this is how it will be look like. This is the module number 0. And this is the port number 1. I'm talking about this port, uh, this switch. Because at the front of this uh, switch, it has some cable connected with some computer. And that uh, the location of that port will be like 0 slash 1. For the second port, it will be 0 slash 2. So as I saying, 0 is uh, the module number. And the 2 is the port number. Yeah, so this is how you, you would differentiate if someone say, oh, we got an issue with this machine on floor three and they have three switches, then you would know by going into that, you know, and, and I believe, Kamran, you can correct me, it's use one mm -hmm. IP address. When you get into that one IP address, you can see yeah. all of these, uh, right? Yes, yes. So, right. so, so once you get into that, you SSH into it and then, okay, I'm going to go back to because of this, uh, if it says like that, the second part of module, then that's actually the second switch or third switch, whatever, however they designed it. This way you would know, okay, as an engineer, floor three, uh, machine number 56, oh, oh, it's on that switch because you can see it here in the module, right? Here. So that's how you kind of um, yeah. track, you know. So let's say if I talk about this uh, switch and some, uh computer is connected to this uh, switch which is fourth one so how it is gonna look like in the module uh, somebody can tell me how it will be represented this port in this format crystal go ahead sorry i didn't get the question uh, if some computer is connected to the, this, the fourth switch, okay, how can you identify or uh, what you're going to name this port? It's this so is going to be which module, which port number? It's going to be the, F, the fourth module. Okay. And, and the port number, let's say this is uh, fifth. So it, it will be five. Looking like yeah. So it will look like this four slash five. Okay. Okay. But by the way, these modules starting from zero. This is one. This is two, and this is three. So this if this port is five fifth port then it, it it will be like uh, three by five okay so come on um maybe something you can elaborate if the second one goes down yeah, right this one um yeah so let's say that goes down okay. now we know we have machines connected to it because of that physical ports connectivity Okay. How how does how do the, the how, what's the what's the kind of like a like a thought behind it? How does it work? How do you you guys recover as network engineers? Okay, what what do you need to do right now? Because these machines are down. What would we what would we do in a real world environment for that? Let's say ten machines that are on that switch. Uh huh. What what do you what do you think about this? Like or let's the, say if this one is having some hardware issue. Let's mm -hmm. say. Okay, nothing else you can do. You just need to replace this, but just by switching off everything. Got it. So this and is the drawback. And would it be a possible thing because you have these stacks on there, you may have open ports. So you can, for now, you can just take it out from those machines. Like, you know, because we have patch panel there. We would just kind of like, just for temporary reasons, take those, those ethernet out and put it in the, the module two, uh, three, sorry. And that's, okay. that should work, right? Yes, that's fine. But you know, the problem is this switch. You have to take it out somehow. Yeah. Even if though you are using patch panels, but again, this, these things are connected with patch panels. 
and if this device is uh, like uh, gone down then you have to remove remove this device and then again these you can see these are all interconnected with each other okay so there is a power outage as well Got it. okay so this is the drawback this by the way this uh, i want to give the assignment to uh Haifa and uh, crystal so they can go further for the pros and cons so you can take it as as assignment as well uh, Haifa and uh, uh crystal you need to differentiate between these two devices and you have to find out the pros and cons and then you need to uh just like take a snapshot or just you can write down on the discord okay you so you can take this as the assignment okay why i'm giving you this assignment so you have you know um, uh, this uh, capability like searching about these new technologies okay okay so opposed to stack wise we have this chassis and what the uh, danish was talking about earlier this is the thing that we are going to overcome in this uh, case the chassis and these are very expensive devices and they have these kind of concepts called soup one soup two which stand for supervisor engine supervisor engine one supervisor engine two as you can see these let's say these are the soup one and this is soup two and what are these things if we talk about stack wise let's say it has only one soup one which is the brain if this master is down everything is going to fall apart but in case of chassis okay they do not have this concept of like uh, interconnection these switches just consider it like just one switch with multiple ports okay then they have these two brains let's say if one is down we have one, we have another one is up and running then it has redundant power supplies as you can see one two three four it has four rpcs are available if one is down all three are up and running so if we talk about the definition a chassis is a frame housing for mounting the circuit component for the cisco switches and the routers or any type of device that provides power and high speed backplane and we you remember we talked about the backplane so they have very high speed power uh, backplane and they do, don't have any issues regarding the power supplies then the frame also protect all the vital uh, uh, vital internal equipment from the dust moisture and tampering uh, opposed to this as you can see this is like uh, like a metal uh, sheet on top of that inside we have these switches so it can protect us from the dust moisture and tampering as well and the back plane is mounting on the chassis like in in case of stack wise we have back plane for this one we have back plane for this one we have back plane for this one and back plane for this one so we have four back planes but we have one soup one memory the decision will be taken by this uh, master but these are the different back planes and what does it mean for example if i want to forward the frame from one switch to another and this exists on this back plane so it has to go and hit this uh, switch basically but in case of chassis we have let's say here this is complete back plane about these all switches so in chassis if one uh, frame comes it will just hit this uh, 
a back plane and then it will be forwarded. It will not go like here or there somewhere. Opposed to this one, like in stack wise, uh, if the frame is uh, coming to the switch two, it will hit the back plane of this switch two and it will be forwarded. Okay. Okay. Any confusion yep. here? I'm good. No, we're good. Okay, that's fine. Then you can take this as uh, like uh, the assignment for stack was versus chassis, like pros and cons, and the differences between those. And you just can uh, share information on Discord. Okay. 